Hi there, this is Robin Andrews from Compu Academy, and this is a video about how to run Python scripts from a command line or terminal such as PowerShell or CMD. Now I'm working on Windows. Things are slightly different on Mac and Linux, um, but for now I'm just focusing on Windows. So let's have a look. We've got this program here, which is Hello World. And at the minute, it's just in a text editor. I'm using Notepad++. And there's lots of different ways you can run this. Now, my preferred way is that I've actually got a keyboard shortcut set up. So I can hit F6, excuse me, and it actually runs it off the bat, which is really nice. But in order to get to that point, you need to understand a little bit about the bigger picture. And then later on, I'll share the, the shortcut for you. So, Let's have a look. If I was to open CMD, this is one way to open CMD. Um, I'll show you another way. So one way I've got it here on my, my bar here. But let's say I didn't have it there. I would hold down Windows and press R. Okay. And then I would type in CMD, which was already there, but you type it in. Okay. And this would open it in a default location. So it's open a command line in the default location, which is the root of the user that I am on HP apparently. So then from there I would change directory. So I do CD that's change directory and I'd go to my desktop and the folder I, I want to navigate to is called Python programs. Okay. And then if I do LS, I can see what's in there. LS is actually a Linux command, but it runs fine in here. So you can see that I've got this, this Python script. Now in CMD, you don't actually need to put Python first, but because in other shells you do need to, I'm just gonna get in the habit of putting it here. So the fact I can put Python there, and the reason I can put Python there is because I've got Python in my path, in my system path. When you install Python, hopefully you selected that option so that Python is available from the shell, okay? So I type in Python and then I type the name of my script. Hello.py and it works. Okay, so that's one way of doing things. Let's look at another way. So here's my desktop, a bit messy at the minute. If I was to click in here, you can see my files here. So we've got hello.py and some markdown, which you don't need to worry about. Now, what you can do is you can go up one level from where you want to be. You can hold down shift and then right click your mouse. And you'll see you get some extra options here. One of them is to open PowerShell window here. Okay, so here two things are different. First of all, I'm opening it at a specific location. And also I'm opening PowerShell, which is the more modern version of CMD. And it behaves slightly different in some ways. But actually, if you do it this way, the instructions are the same. You do Python and then the name of the script, which was hello.py. And that works fine. You can see here the output, hello. Another way of working with PowerShell would be to hold down the Windows key and press R and get PowerShell, type in PowerShell. And you'll see it opens in the same place. So that's the root of my current user, okay? So then I need to navigate to the folder where my program is, CD, desktop. And this time, if I was to just do what I did before in CMD. So that's called Python programs. You'll see there's a problem. Now that's because there's a space in the folder name, okay? So PowerShell doesn't like that. You can press the up arrow to get back your previous command. And what I'm gonna do is edit that and put quotes around it. So if I put quotes there, oh no, wrong place, sorry. Put the quotes there and at the end, then hopefully it will now accept that, okay? So you see that worked. Now, because we're in PowerShell, we need to type Python, which we did anyway in CMD, but it was optional in CMD, but here it's not optional. Python hello.py. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If you're completely unfamiliar with um, command lines and terminals, then I strongly suggest you go away and you do a little bit of research on some basic commands. So things like CD means change directory. Um, that's one of the most common ones. LS is a Linux command, but it works in PowerShell. And that lists the context of the directory. If you want to go up a level, it's cd dot dot. Okay, that means go up a level. You see here, I've gone from Python programs to just desktop. Okay, but that's not really the topic here. If you can just get to the point where you've got a PowerShell or a command line open in the same folder as your script, then all you have to do is type the name of the 
of the script preceded by Python. Hit enter and you should be good to go. Now let me show you one more trick. So here we have Notepad++ open. And I have some code here which, which looks a little bit confusing, but let me just show you this. So what we got here is actually basically the shell command to run this script from this location. So let me just take this apart. You don't really need to understand it but because I'll just share it in the description, but let me just talk you through it. So this opens PowerShell. This says don't close the PowerShell once you've finished the script. Also, we're going to change directory. And now this is part of Notepad++. So we're going to whatever the current directory is. Okay. And then in that current directory, we're calling the Python command, yeah, which means use Python. This means keep it open. It's slightly different to this. To be honest, I can't actually remember the difference right now between those two, but you don't want your shell to just disappear when the script is finished running. So I, I'm pretty sure that's what that does. And then the file name. So these basically get substituted for the variables. So the current directory becomes the current directory and the file name becomes the current file name. So this whole sentence becomes or this whole line becomes a command that gets executed and it opens the shell and runs the, the program. So in order to run that, you need to go to run at the top. This is, this is purely Notepad++ specific. This won't make sense in a different editor, but this is my preferred way of doing things. So you go to run and then you take all of this and you paste it in there and you run it and it works. Okay. Now, if you want to do that lots of times and just have the ability to run a script from Notepad++ with a keyboard shortcut, then you have to get into this business of assigning shortcuts. You go to run and then you save it. I'm not actually going to go through that now because I might mess up my, my coding environment, which I don't want to do, but that's the basic idea. You, you hit save and you get a choice of what keyboard shortcut you want to assign to this particular run command. Okay. And I use, shift f6 i think but like i say i'm not going to do that right now that's for the more adventurous of you but it's really nice to have that option so there's quite a lot there but the basic point is you know idle is great if you've been working in idle but really you need to get to the point where you're using slightly more sophisticated editors and notepad plus plus is excellent if you're working on windows particularly is an excellent kind of transition between something like idle, which is very basic and something a bit more full blown like PyCharm or something like that. Notepad plus plus is perfect just for quite sh small projects, the kind of stuff you'd be doing for your studies for GCSE and a level, for example. Um, and you can go a very long way with it without having all the overhead of having to have a big project and the loading time just of PyCharm. I find really annoying. Um, whereas notepad plus plus opens instantly. Anyway, there it is. So that's how you run Python scripts from a command line or shell or terminal. I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.